Welcome everybody, Tony here, Lisa here, and we are at Animal Kingdom once again because we are doing a food review. We haven't done one of those videos in quite some time. Exactly, so we've been focusing on that. So we're actually gonna go sit down and eat here at the Satouli Canteen. So let's go. I'm going to you can literally ask me anything, but if there are no questions, I have a question for you guys. And it's one that I feel is very, very important. Given where we are, who here loves animals? Me. Animal lovers, give me a woo! Okay, that was quite a lot, you guys. And that was like 90%. Good job. Right. So yeah. the other 10%. You guys don't love animals. Came here. Don't love animals. It's gonna be a long day. <laughs> All right, we kind of know what we're gonna go with. I'm gonna get the uh, shrimp and noodle bowl. This is actually seasonal. So it's not here all the time. It's got chili garlic shrimp, lo mein noodles with red pepper, carrots, cabbage, and onions. Tossed in a honey soy dressing, served with cucumber and mango slaw. $15. And then you're going to... I'm going to create your own satouli bowl. Yeah. So my protein's going to be the chili spiced crisp beef fried tofu. My base is going to be rice and black beans. And my sauce is going to be a creamy herb dressing. There you go. And it's going to be $12.49 for Elisa to create her own. Here you can get a specialty Navi, Navi flute cup here for $11.99. Look at that. It's a bit of all right. I love this tap system. It's so cool. Isn't it so cool? I love it. I like this little baby one. Too. I know that. That's my favorite. <laughs> That's so cool. And then we got a sugar bowl and a turkey bowl. We're gonna put these on here. And again, all the drinks and utensils are just out that way in the dining room. Thank you. So here we have a better shot of the food. This is the shrimp with the garlic noodles. And then here is the tofu with the black beans and rice. And right off the back, Lisa noticed, and I did too after she said it, was uh, the tofu has gotten so much bigger. Look at that. It's huge. So that is awesome. So let's dig in. We're going to share this and give our review. See what happens. It's really good. And I got a boba ball on that one. Explain what that actually is for people who may not know. I still don't understand it. It kind of just melts and pops it like in your mouth. It pops when you bite it and like... Like this fruity liquid almost yeah. in a sense. And I tried looking up what it was and it's like some kind of plant. Yeah. I'm really confused. At first I thought it was gelatin because I was like, oh no, we can't eat that because... But it's not. Yeah. And I looked it up. There's, I just, I don't know what it is. <laughs> exactly. Some veggies. Shrimp. I lost the pepper. Hmm. You lose a pepper. like the garlic noodles and the vegetables all together. <laughs> yeah, it's good flavor. So we're gonna start with the tofu. Now we've gotten this many times before, but this is definitely bigger. Look at the size of that. Still really good. Tofu has a nice like crunch to it, not overly crunchy, just a nice, a nice snap. The rice and beans are great with the creamy herb. And then here, if you can see that, that's the that boba. Hold on. Hold on. Focus. That's the boba ball. Is that my pronounce that right? Boba ball. I think it's a boba ball. Okay. 
and as you can see it is like this clear liquidy I don't know something fruit in it I don't know what it is it pops almost like kind of like grape not I really. don't know I don't know let's try the uh, garlic noodle And it's nice too because the tails on the shrimp are already off. So that's always a plus. I got happy because it's so good. Seasoning, sauce, everything works really well with this dish. The garlic really comes out. It's not spicy, but that soy you can definitely taste excellent dish both of them are really fantastic all right we're pretty much all finished up but i wanted to take note of this you see all this soy vinegar garlic sauce here when you get down to the bottom you know and you're scraping that little bit because it's just this is a little too overpowering you know what i mean it works nice when everything is together but since it's all like soaked up obviously it's just like you have to almost leave it it's just a little yeah. way too much it would have been nice too if there was more shrimp now, granted we're also sharing yeah so like for one person that probably was enough shrimp there was like five shrimp so you couldn't even split it evenly. no That's we okay. <laughs> we both kept eating around the shrimp thinking who's yeah, gonna take it, gonna eat it. <laughs> but yeah Tony ate it. i ate and it he gave me the extra <laughs> All right, so with everything that we got, we'll give you kind of a price point right now. Do they know that Disney raised the prices on everything? You should probably make mention of that real quick. I don't know if they did to the restaurants, though, and their quick service. I know they upped the price to everything else. So the drinks were more expensive. They're closer to $4. Oh, that's, okay, so. Everything got moved up. What Lisa is talking about, if you can hear in the background, Disney upped it's actually, I think both Disney World and Disneyland both up the prices on their snack items and food items. And Lisa's right on the drinks here that I can see, because Lisa just got a soda, that it's now $3.99 for a soda. So those did get upcharged about $0.49.50. Cents. Water used to be $3. It's three fifty dollars now. Yeah. <laughs> but... <laughs> to give you a price point of what you're going to pay as of now, the shrimp and noodle bowl was $14.99, the tofu bowl was $12.49, two beverages came to $7.98, total was $35.46, tax, so the amount due for both of us to share. $37.77. Correct, $37.77. So for the final review of this place, that's at Tui Canteen. I love this stuff, it's really cute. Yeah, it's great. Every time we're in Animal Kingdom, this and we're hungry, this is the place we mainly go to all yeah. the time. I mean, there's for been like, service. for a quick service. There, I mean, there was like one other one to try out, but it's mainly The only other this one, one we really tried out wasn't even a quick service, yeah. it was a snack. It was yeah. one of the snack carts. But, we got the tatiki. Yeah. But um, everything is great here. All the We've eaten here many times. I don't know exactly the how many times. The thing we missed out on was when they first opened, like there's cheeseburger pods, but they used to also have vegetable pods. But they got rid of the vegetable ones. So yeah. That's the only thing we never got to taste here. It's the, but yeah. we tried like the create your own. Uh, sustainable fish. Yeah. For the create your own satuli bowl, they have a sustainable fish as a protein, which we tried. And that was good. It was good, but the tofu actually had some more flavor than the fish. Unless they changed that now, because yeah. they changed the tofu, so maybe they changed the fish. Maybe. But the fish is good that we had before. Uh, the tofu is great. The seasonal uh, shrimp and noodle dish, now that is just seasonal, so that's not here all the time. But that is fantastic. If you're here and that's still going on, get that. If you like seafood. Uh, we tried <laughs> the desserts. We've tried that chocolate we mousse We tried one. that chocolate one, which was good, but... It's just too much too, chocolate too for me. Too sweet, too chocolatey. And then, then we, we tried the blueberry one. The or raspberry or whatever. Whatever, raspberry. I mean, yeah. Maybe that's what it is. That one's good. That I one like is that. really good. So everything that we've had and we've heard, re heard reviews from other people who eat meat, it's fantastic. So definitely a thumbs up. Recommend it. 
give this place a try. We will see you next time. Toodaloo, finito. Get out of here. It was weird, wasn't it? Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. You can end it now. <laughs>